try to use training dummies as much as we can for like the strikes and everything, but uh, a lot of the pressure points you really got to feel it on the human body. Repression is basically the attempts by the state to punish and to enclose and to isolate and therefore neutralize threats to its authority. Recuperation are the attempts to integrate threats to authority, to uh, redirect them towards non-threatening modes or modes that even regenerate or modify state power in a way that, that makes states more able to respond to similar threats. And if you look at the 1950s and 1960s uh, civil rights struggle in the United States, there's some really good examples because the, the government especially the Kennedy administration, you know, they're having high-level meetings with Martin Luther King and all these other uh, leaders of nonviolent civil disobedience organizations. And then at the same time, they're carrying out um, repression against the more radical elements of the black civil rights, which became the Black Liberation Movement and which led into the FBI's counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO. In addition to COINTELPRO, the FBI ran a program called the Ghetto Informant Program. And the ghetto informant program is where they would get preachers, you know, pastors of churches, uh, teachers, or whomever. They would try to get those people to be informers. Militarization and community policing are talked about as though there are these two separate alternatives, two different ways that policing can develop. But what the history shows is that they developed at exactly the same time both in response to the crisis of the 60s and generally developed alongside each other in the same cities, often with the same commanders in charge. Rather than seeing these as two separate and competing developments, it makes more sense to see them as complementary developments and each operating as one half of a domestic counterinsurgency strategy. The counterintelligence program was designed to be hard-hitting and designed to assassinate, designed to subvert, and actually destroy organizations. Whereas the Ghetto Informant Program was designed to spy on the black population at large and to find out who it was, as they saw it, was would be uh, agitating for riots. All of that is pretty textbook counterinsurgency stuff. As we see it play out domestically, it has the political benefit of building legitimacy for the police, while at the same time, the militarization preserves their capacity to come in hard when they do face actual resistance.